guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today I thought I'd hop on here and just do a random update. <laughs> uh. Hi. I got uh, just some cursor I want to show you and one sewing thing. This the sewing thing looks horrible. Please don't judge me. It was a, it's a prototype. So it's definitely got some design flaws. I gotta go back to the drawing board. <laughs> so um, just ignore the flaws. But I was trying to make a new notions pouch with a snap instead of a zipper because zippers are a pain in the butt <laughs> to sew. But uh, and I got like in my head what I want to look like and I just didn't succeed the first time. So I'm just gonna go back to the drawing board. Um, I know exactly what I need to do to make it shaped better uh, because when I first uh, shaped it, I didn't factor in um, seam allowances that would cut in on the sides, you know. So anyways, here it is. I made it with a fat quarter. So, see, the this shouldn't be further out than the bag. That's because I didn't factor in seam allowances and stuff like that. But it's quilted, and it's got a snap on it, and it's like a notions pouch down in there. See? It's lined. It's the same. So it's got like a raw edge. Although they're, they're not raw and flaring. They're, they're sewed edges, but like, you know, you can see them. <laughs> um, so same print on the inside and outside and it is quilted like I said you can um, I did like a swirly quilt <laughs> but um so this is what I want to go for I just need to redesign it because this needs to be uh in a little you know in a little bit so it's not sticking outside and shorter I think anyway so there it is <laughs> it's shaped horrible but like it's the first make it's a prototype so there you go it's still functional so Jesse says he wants it so I'll let him have it all right now for crochet so crochet <laughs> I got some work done on my Halloween countdown just a little bit it's taking forever I need to sit down and work on this uh hold on I got yarn everywhere my hook. so here it's coming on I still got quite a few of just this same solidness to do and then I'll it'll start going to like the roof of the house I need to work on this and get some more done. So this is a paid for pattern. Uh, I'll leave it linked below if you want to check it out. It'll have pockets on it with 1 through 31 for candy treats every day of October. Um, so yeah, I'm just using, this is Red Heart Super Saver Amethyst and Black. And this is a Red Heart yarn, but I can't remember what it's called. It's just a light gray color. And I'm using a K hook, I think, or J, J hook, which is a six millimeter. So that's what I got so far done that. Slowly coming along. And then I started uh, Jack from this crochet kit that I got gifted to me. Um, I wanted to start Sally because she's my favorite, but I don't have some of the colors that I need for her. So I just went ahead and started Jack. And I got him completely done crochet. I still got to put his eyes on and his mouth. My sister's going to make felt eyes for me. And then I'll put the mouth on after I get the eyes on so that I can put it in the center. But I got all of his crochet hair done. So here he is. He's pretty big. I did use worsted weight yarn. The pattern calls for DK weight yarn and a, a elf hook, which is a 3.75. I used worsted weight yarn and a G hook, a four millimeter. So it's red heart, silver, black and white. <laughs> and he's made in a few pieces. So his legs are separate and then you attach them together to make the body and the head. So that's all one piece after you make the two legs. Um, the arms are separate. The coattails, there's two of them. There's two pieces right here that's black that's sewn on. That's his, like, collar. And then the, the white part's separate. And then the bat um, bow tie thing is three different pieces. It's wing, head, wing. So it's a few pieces. And then, uh, like I said, my sister's going to make me some eyes. Um, I sent her a picture of this. And I told her about what size I needed to be. And then after I get the eyes, I can stitch on this little embroidery part <laughs> to finish his face. So it's almost there. His arms and his legs have pop cleaners in them. What? And so does his neck and head. So sewing on all the pieces was a little uh, complicated. I had to look up because I wasn't quite sure. You can look behind the bat wing. The collar kind of sticks out there. You know, it's like a pointed collar. I wasn't sure because the book doesn't like explain how to sew that on that well so I looked up other people <laughs> who made this and followed kind of their what their picture did so I feel like his bow tie turned out huge but oh well that's okay <laughs> it's still cute so he's completely except his face so I will just 
put him up and wait until my sister gets me the eyes and then I will um, finish that up but yeah so I think the next one I'm gonna start on is gonna be Oogie Boogie because he is simple it's this one he is simple looking <laughs> he's only made in uh, one his body is one big piece and he's got legs arms and his eyebrows and it's all like one color, except there's parts of stitch on, and then I think his mouth is made out of uh, felt. So I think that'd be easy. I got plenty of yarn that I can use for him because he's kind of like an off-white color. <laughs> um, what color does it say on here? It just says beige, <laughs> beige color. But um, so I think I'll work on him next. I want to make all of these, including the in the back. There's a graph for this. I want to eventually make all those. I really want to make Sally, but I got to get some more colors, yarns for her. I need to dig through um, my stash and see if I got any. So it's living in my first my prototype for my vinyl bag. I think I found out what I'm going to do to fix these bags to make them easier for me to make. <laughs> what? Um, I think I'm going to put something up here to attach uh, the zipper to first, some fabric, and then attach the fabric to the vinyl, and then that will give the zipper enough space to be able to zip without getting stuck on the vinyl. So that's one of the issues right here is it kind of gets stuck on the vinyl that's on the inside near the zipper. So I'm going to try that with the next one whenever I get to mess around just with sewing uh, for the heck of it. Uh, but I just use this bag because it's, it's simple enough for me to use. And also I'm going to put interfacing in the bottom because it's still kind of real floppy. But I bought a bunch, a bunch of interface the other day. So I'm going to interface this so it's a little bit stiffer. And then um, try that way and see if I can make vinyl bags then that I think are good enough to sell. <laughs> but this one's definitely not good enough to sell because it's um got a few flaws so what i've been working on is my halloween countdown which i'll link below my nightmare for christmas guy i get i got most of this done today um yeah today i made his arms coattails the shirt all the shirt pieces and all his bow tie pieces and then sewed it all together um so i'll link that below you get it on amazon and what else was i working on Oh yeah, this bag. <laughs> but this is like a flop. I'll have to redraw that. So I do have a bunch of bags here that I need to start quilting. I'll probably do that tomorrow uh, for the shop. And then I'll work on some Oogie Boogie, I guess. And then I don't know what else. I still need to um, line my Christmas blanket for the fair, but I really don't know if I'm going to have time to do that before the fair pops up. Because it is coming up pretty soon. So we will see. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop off here because the kids are going crazy. And I will see you guys in another video. Bye, guys.